My name is Javed Moslehi. I'm the William Grossman Distinguished Professor in Cardiology and the Section Chief of Cardio-Oncology and Immunology at University of California, San Francisco School of Medicine. As a cardiologist, I work collaboratively with oncologists to promote and optimize cardiovascular health prior to cancer treatment. In this role, I help identify and help minimize cardiovascular toxicities during cancer treatment, and I help reduce cardiovascular risk following cancer treatment. Cardio-oncologists provide care for newly diagnosed cancer patients with existing cardiovascular issues, as well as patients who develop cardiovascular adverse reactions from cancer therapies. There are a number of reasons why identifying and treating hypertension is important when patients with CLL are being considered for treatment options. One important aspect of cardio-oncology is addressing cardiovascular risk factors during cancer treatment, knowing that these risk factors can increase the risk of developing heart disease. One of these leading risk factors of heart disease is, of course, hypertension. One thing to remember is hypertension is really common among CLL patients because these patients are older. This is a population that has significant cardiovascular risk factors. In addition, some of the CLL treatments are associated with hypertension so that when you start the patients on the treatment, the blood pressure can go up and even those who didn't have hypertension can develop hypertension. It's also important to note that at this point, we think the incidence of hypertension may vary across the different BTKIs that are currently on the market. I think another thing to remember is that given the chronic nature of CLL and its many treatments, patients really need long-term care. It's particularly important uh, as a result of this to remember that hypertension should be identified and treated appropriately because from all of the literature we have on the cardiology front, we know that curtailing hypertension and treating hypertension really impacts the patient uh, in terms of risk of developing cardiac disease. The challenges in controlling hypertension are often underappreciated. Early detection of hypertension is very important. It is often known as a silent killer because it may show no symptoms and can still put the patients at increased risk of heart failure, heart disease, and stroke. Hypertension can lead to end organ damage even before symptoms are present. It's also important to note that hypertension is linked to 1.7 times increased risk of developing new onset arrhythmias such as atrial fibrillation and a 1.5 times increased risk of progression to permanent atrial fibrillation. In my experience, hypertension associated with BTK inhibitors should be treated similarly to hypertension developed for other reasons. When prescribing antihypertensive medications for CLL patients, I am always sure to consider each person's comorbidities. Also, the potential for pharmacokinetic interactions between any medications they may already be taking and the antihypertensive medication chosen. Patients on BTK inhibitors should be regularly monitored for new or worsening hypertension. In my practice, antihypertensive medications may be considered for those with systolic blood pressure greater than 130 millimeters of mercury or diastolic blood pressures greater than 85 millimeters of mercury. Note that this is a really a personalized decision depending on the patient since lifestyle modifications may be the preferred first line of treatment for some patients. It's also important to note that many patients take more than one medication in order to bring their blood pressure down to their treatment goal. In 
my experience among the cardio-oncology population, the initial identification of hypertension is often the biggest challenge in managing it. Physicians, including oncologists, need to make blood pressure an important variable to identify and treat during routine cancer visits, especially since some CLL therapies may increase blood pressure. Thank you for watching. Thank you.